Financial Accounting Chapter 16 Introduction Prices do not remain constant over a period of time. They tend to change due to various economic, social, or political factors. Changes in the price levels cause two types of economic conditions, inflation and deflation. Inflation may be defined as a period of general increase in the prices of factors of production, whereas deflation may fall in the general price level. These changes in the price levels lead to an accurate presentation of financial statements, which otherwise are prepared to present a true and fair view of the company's financial health. This is so because the financial statements are prepared on historical costs on the assumption that the unit of account accounting for price level changes is a system of maintaining accounts in which all items in financial statements are recorded at current values. This system of accounting ascertains profit or loss and presents financial position of the business on the basis of current prices. Accounting for price level changes is also called inflation accounting. Effects of price changes on accounting. The change in price level does not affect profit and loss account items, such as wages and salaries, insurance commission, tax, etc. are paid on current values. The items which affect profit and loss accounts are as cost of goods sold. The value of goods sold is equal to the cost of opening raw materials, plus purchases and wages minus closing raw materials. These purchases are always purchases in different quantities and at different prices. Now the problem is what price the stores be valued. LIFO method or FIFO method or replacement cost method. Valuation of closing stock. In accounting, the valuation of closing stock and finished goods, there is always a problem due to the change in price level their cost price and market price shows a high difference. The solution to this problem lies with the Valuation of the cost of goods sold. Depreciation on fixed assets. In historical cost accounting, depreciation is always changed on the original cost of the assets. The cost of a machine is divided by its effective working life. The depreciation is always changed for the replacement of fixed assets. When prices are increasing, the depreciation should be changed on increased value and not on the original value. European disagreements. We examine whether more transparent disclosure about goodwill impairment tests conveys useful information to sell side analysts about the parameters used in the complex and often opaque impairment testing process. Drawing on a sample of European companies from 2006 to 2014, we construct a unique data set on the transparency of goodwill impairment disclosure and develop two analyst disagreement measures by extracting analysts' opinions about firms. Impairment decisions in brokers' reports. We show that the level of disclosure transparency is negatively associated with both. Disagreement among analysts, a proxy for information uncertainty, and disagreement between analysts and managers, a proxy for information asymmetry. Further, we find that discount rate. Related disclosure transparency is associated with both types of analyst disagreement, while Cash flow related disclosure transparency is associated with disagreement between analysts and managers only. Our paper speaks to the usefulness of goodwill impairment test disclosures to analysts, while also highlighting that opportunistic and boilerplate disclosure by some firms hampers the ability to resolve information asymmetry and information uncertainty. Generic or specific adjustment. The following are the generally accepted methods of accounting for price level changes. 1. Current Purchasing Power Method or General Purchasing Power Method, CPP or GPP. Method 2. Current Cost Accounting Method, CCA Method. General Price Level Adjusted System. General Price Level Accounting involves the restatement of financial statements for the effects of inflation. This adjustment is useful in periods of high inflation when it would otherwise be difficult to determine the true financial condition of a business. Current value accounting. Current value accounting is the concept that assets and liabilities be measured at the current value at which they could be sold or settled as of the current date. This varies from the 
historically used method of only recording assets and liabilities at the amounts at which they were originally acquired or incurred, which represents a more conservative viewpoint. Mixed value, deprival value. In accounting, deprival value is the method which is used for measuring the value of asset. It is not historical cost value nor fair value. It is almost actual value which has to pay by a person who will acquire the asset. Fair values. Fair value is a term with several meanings in the financial world. In investing, it refers to an asset sale price agreed upon by a willing buyer and seller, assuming both parties are knowledgeable and enter the transaction freely. For example, securities have a fair value that determined by a market where they are traded. In accounting, fair value represents the estimated worth of various assets and liabilities that must be listed on a company books.